Now, there's not a whole lot of pictures um, of this Landers facility, but the handful of photos that we were going through last night are, you know, I mean, incredible. Uh, the, you know, the rack with the uh, uh, the chart recorders, the scopes, the, the communication system, uh, and, and the, the Telerik system, is that just one part of the whole Landers yeah, facility? Yeah, Landers was a, was a very broad uh, uh, radio frequency facility that covered frequencies from the audible range all the way up into the microwave. So the large antenna arrays there, there was a system there that I had that was called the Earth Stereo, where there was two very large HF antenna arrays each uh, array occupies between one and five acres, so you need a lot of land and a lot of poles and wires to build these things. But they went up. I did it all by myself. And uh, what this would do is, is you find a station that's transmitting music from, you know, Pakistan or India or, you know, Japan or someplace like that. And then with the antenna system, uh, is you receive the signals and their echoes as they bounce around uh, through the Earth ionosphere waveguide and it produces a type of stereo that no words can describe. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a unique type of stereo and that's part of my research. It's a type of stereo where the sound leaves the plane of the speakers and you might have a musical instrument and, and you cannot, no way that you can, your mind sees or hears the instrument will move around in the room and you can actually it's so tangible that you can grasp for it. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a space positional type stereo and the earth right. generates this. So I used to get uh, numerous visits from my, all my musician friends and Bellinas to come down and fire up the earth stereo system and listen to these wild pieces of music coming out of places like Pakistan and what have you uh, through this earth stereo system. And there we had AR2A speakers and it's just absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing that was going on there. Is another thing is uh, is the FCC and the NSA and all of them have pretty much dropped any uh, policing of the HF spectrum, which has allowed all kinds of interference and disruption and distortion in services due to bad maintenance. So I also supplied intelligence to the proper government agencies to let them know when you know other government agencies were screwing up or if there was a source of interference to important signals because I could determine their location, identify the signals and actually relay the signals mm -hmm. to the person at the other end through the system at Landers. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it had a telephone radio interface where you could call that station and it would contact the PRC-47 in my car or I could use the PRC-47 in my car to make contact with the station and then get back on the telephone line. Mm -hmm. So it had that. It also had wideband spectral analysis facilities where the entire HF spectrum could be seen, UHF spectrum for determining uh, uh, origins of signals and their nature. So it was a very sophisticated research center. It was something like normally, it would be beyond even what the FCC would have in the, in the time during which the equipment was built. Mm 